All right, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, call on La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. Double honor being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, as always, I'm going to say, Shalom to Akim out there that's pushing his truth through his spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. All right, so this is going to be. You know, another, uh, you know, lesson through the spirit power of Yahweh about Shemal Shai. And Lord, as well, as, as always, you know, hopefully this is edifying, you know, through the spirit power of Yahweh about Shemal Shai. All right, now, this is uh, from the source, um, endtimeheadlines.org. All right. <clears throat> and it says, um, it says, scientists are warning that Earth needs to prepare for an quote unquote alien encounter because time is running out all right but little do they know it's not you know little green creatures and gray you know uh, creatures you know et looking things you know out there no they're angels all right and you know alien it just it just means stranger okay just like the, the apostle paul said that you know you know us before we came to the truth, you know, us as being Gentiles, we, we were uh, aliens to our commonwealth. All right, let's get that real quick, just for edification's sake. All right, I believe it's the book of the Corinthians. All right, let's see. One second. All right, so like it. Okay, Ephesians. Okay. This is the book of uh so like it. This is the book of Ephesians two and twelve, and it says that at that time you were without a Mashiach have a shy being aliens from the commonwealth of israel now real quickly if you go into the word alien all right it says um uh to estrange alienate all right to be alienated to be shut out from one's fellowship and intimacy all right so what so what does that mean stranger it's strange okay so we were we didn't know who we were okay but that was, you know, a quick point that I want to make, you know, going about the word alien. All right. You know, so back in the article. So it says scientists are, are, are warning that Earth needs to prepare for an alien encounter. OK. And like I said earlier, those are not, you know, little green men and those uh, chariots, you know, what, you know, what Esau calls UFOs. All right. Those are, you know, angels. All right. But to them, it's going to seem like an alien encounter. To them, it's going to seem like, you know, an, uh, an, an alien invasion. All right. Because the uh, angels are strangers, you know, uh, uh, of this world. Because, you know, this this world, all right, don't know, you know, you know, what's inside, you know, those those so-called UFOs, w which we know as them to be the chariots of, of Israel. All right. The, the chariots, the, the chariots, the, the heavenly vehicles of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. All right. And it says... Earth needs to prepare for an alien encounter because time is running out. All right. And that's true. Time is running out. OK, because we're living the last days of of uh, of these uh, of these uh, the uh, Esau's regime of this Edomite infrastructure. OK, we're living the last days of, of an eon, the end of an age. All right. And and and, and right now is a, and right now is a good time to be alive because we are actually seeing you know, the downfall of our enemy, Esau Edom, starting off with the Edomite elites. OK, and it says Earth needs to prepare. OK, and 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 that's right. You know, these people, you know, guess what? You know, they're going to get caught off guard because it says that uh, uh, that these ch the, the, uh, chariots are going to enter and are going to enter into the house of the thief. All right. And how shy is, is, is going to come like a thief in the night. All right. Let's get that real quick. This is the book of uh, Thessalonians. Let me see us. Uh, where is that? 
second no first Thessalonians uh, five and verse uh two and it says for for your souls know perfectly uh that the day of the Lord you have a shy so cometh so cometh as a thief in the night. Okay, so people out here are gonna get caught off are caught off guard, man. Okay, because you know, like I said earlier, you know, they're they're gonna get blindsided. All right, you know, they're not gonna know what's gonna happen. All right, Yahweh Shai is gonna catch the people off guard, man. All right, because we know that Yahweh Shai is coming, but we don't know when. All right, but people, but people out here, you know, they don't know that Yahweh Shai is coming. All right, you know, they don't know when, but we know that he's coming. All right, and people out here, you know, they're they're not prepared. You know, uh, uh you know, uh, they're not prepared for, you know, that that great return of Yahweh Shai. All right. So this article, you know, you know, it's not aliens, you know, a uh, uh, green little men that you got to worry about. All right. But guess what? You could, But guess what? You got to worry about how shy. All right. And the angels. All right. The host of heaven. OK. And it says uh, the article says um, scientists are warning humanity not to let our guard down when it comes to the potential of extraterrestrial life. A new. A new group at the University of St. Andrews in Scotland wants to put together a plan for what to do if we encounter aliens here on Earth. With help from experts from across the world, they will be putting together robust protocols and treaties, as well as assessing any evidence of intelligent civilizations. Their preparatory work will take place at a new research hub at the university dedicated to the search of extraterrestrial intelligence. All right. It says, um. Science fiction is awash with explorations of the impact on human society following the discovery of and even encounters with the life of, or intelligence elsewhere, said, said Dr. John Elliott, a computer scientist and coordinator of the SETI Post Detection Hub. All right. Really, really, this uh, really, all, really, all I needed was the, the headline, really, you know, the article was just. You see, that's, I skimmed through it earlier and, you know, really, you know, the, yeah. So the headline really was all you needed, you know, it was all you needed. OK, but nonetheless, you know, uh, just know that chariots, angels are coming. All right. I, I may just title this lesson, you know, cor uh, I, I may I may I may say a correction, you know, uh, uh, not aliens, but angels, you know, but really the headline was all you needed. You know, the article just, you know, um, uh, uh, it had little bones up in there, you know, but 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 what I got, you know, from the article is that people are, you know, as far as, you know, these these colleges, things like that, you know, people know that, you know, there is life out there. You know, there is, you know, uh, um, there is uh, how can I how can I word it? There is, you know, um, damn, I'm trying to trying to find a word, but. For for lack of better terms, there is you know life out there, you know outside the atmosphere. All right, and that's the angels. All right, the angels are, are you know are are, are here. You know, uh, watching this place. You know, the angels are here. You know, uh, take uh, uh, keeping tabs and records upon upon you people. All right, hey, even upon us. All right, back I believe a couple of years ago, I think like 2018, 2017, you had the angel. All right, um, you had the angel. At, at the the Cowboys and uh and uh um Redskins game, all right. Then he looked pissed off, man. All right. Then then his head, you know, he, he had a all white hair like, like like an afro, you know, type type hairstyle, you know. Then but 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 the only thing that was shown was uh, uh, was his head, you know. He uh he had no body, all right. Then I believe if you look it up on YouTube, all right, his head uh his head was moving, all right. And that was an actual angel, you know, here on Earth. That was scoping out, you know, uh, Babylon. Okay, but but towards but but with the naked eye, you weren't able to see it. But but the cameras picked it up. All right, then you know you had brothers do do tons of videos on it. All right, and it was very beautiful, man. Okay, so imagine, you know, uh, how so, so imagine, you know, uh, uh, you know, you know, in these last days when, you know, the angels actually manifest themselves, you know, uh, by way of these UFOs. Excuse me, by way of the chariots. All right, a magic. You know, when that day comes, when how shy is going to crack those clouds, you know, come in, in his great glory, man, you know, and, and come in his father's name, all right, Yahweh's name, okay?
This is the book of Zechariah 5 and verse 1, and it says, Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. And he said unto me, Now, real quick, now is that roll talking about an actual flying piece of bread? No. It's that that was that's symbolic for a chariot that that uh Zechariah seen. All right. And it says, and, and he said unto me, What sees thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is twenty cubits, and a breadth thereof ten cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. And get best believe that America, this place is cursed, man. Okay, this place is doomed to be destroyed, man. Babylon, this place is numbered. Okay. There's so many cherry sightings within now, of course you got cherry sightings in different countries, but listen, man, it's it's been a lot of cherry sightings here in Babylon, okay? And it says, For every one that's that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side according to it, and every one that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. I will bring a forest to the Lord of hosts, and it, uh, and it shall enter into, into the house of the thief, right, man? And who's the house? And, who, and what's the house of the thief? Babylon, America. All right. And why? And why? And why is it called the house of the thief? Because to this day, you have the children of Israel in your hands that you stole. All right. You have the jewels of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, man. Okay. It says in Jeremiah fifteen thirty three says that that Esau refused to let us go. All right. Esau don't want to, you know, uh, uh, let us free, man. Even though. It may not be physical slavery or chattel slavery, but, you know, uh, uh, we are still yet in, in this day in captivity. You know, we are we are under payments. We are under Esau. We are at the bottom of the barrel. OK, you can't tell me that this place is not captivity, man. All right. Babylon, America in the whole is, uh, is, is a damn prison house. OK, not just not just the, the actual prisons and jails you see out here in public, man. America is, is an actual prison house in itself. We are we are yet we are yet in this day in that captivity. All right. And it says, uh, and entered the house of him that swore falsely by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of, of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. And that's talking about the laser beams that's going to consume this place and and uh and uh and uh melt this place. All right, right along with, with those with those nuclear missiles, man. Okay. This place is this place is gonna get burnt into powder. All right. Just like how you see Marvel, the Martian, a cartoon network is going to be just like that, but worse. All right. This place is going to is going to get turned into complete ashes, a desolate wilderness. All right. So people out here, you know, they have no clue what's going to happen, you know, and here it is. You have scientists, you know, admitting that there's actual life, you know, out, you know, uh, uh, out there, you know, and but to them, they think it's aliens. They think it's. You know, little green and gray creatures, but nah, it's angels, okay? We know that it's angels because Yah by Shemal Shai, by Shiran Kakwadash, you know, gave us, you know, um that understanding, you know, that wisdom that wisdom and knowledge, you know, you know, and, and ultimately is the Holy Spirit, you know, for us to know, you know, what these uh, uh what these vehicles actually are and what's actually inside these vehicles. Okay. And in and the chariots, you know, they're part of our heritage, all right. Swing low, sweet chariot. That that's us, you know. That's our salvation. That's our ticket out of here, man. Okay, and best believe that these these chariots are not are, are coming back to, you know, destroy and deliver. You know, the Lord's elect. All right. And speaking of deliverance, let's get that in the Book of Matthew. All right. Matthew twenty four and verse thirty one, and it says, actually, let me start at verse. Uh, 30 okay and it says and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man who is Yahweh Shai coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory now is he going to come in an actual cloud now of course the chariots can disguise themselves as actual clouds but that cloud right here in particular is talking about a chariot of the uh, uh the fathership all right and a good example you know, you can watch that in a movie. We all know it's called Independence Day, starring Will Smith. That's a good movie to watch, okay? Because the uh, the fathership came, I believe, into D.C. All right, came into a uh, New York City. All right, it was it was it was a, a so-called alien invasion, okay? Upon 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 House of the Thief, A.K.A. Babylon. All right, and it says, and they, and who was the they? The people out here, they, 
Even us, we gonna see. Okay, the elect, we gonna see. The hopeful elect, we gonna see. The people out here, they're gonna see. It says every eye shall see. All right, we're gonna see. Okay. And it says, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven. Okay, in the clouds of heaven, man. Okay, Yahweh is gonna alter reality out here, man. Okay, that proves that everything out here is 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 fucking vain. All right. But what people are doing right now at this moment in time is vain. Because Yahweh Shai is gonna is gonna is gonna just you know alter your whole your whole outlook on life. All right. And it says coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the of heaven to the other because why because uh uh the uh the uh nation of israel okay throughout you know time and history we've been scattered and now it's part of, of the curses that we will be you know scattered amongst all nations okay and being that we're scattered amongst all nations you have brethren all right, you know, pushing this gospel amongst all countries and continents. Okay, and then the elect, okay, are going to be delivered from those countries and continents. You can read that in the book of Isaiah, the 11th chapter. Okay, so, so but soon, you know, ultimately, the, the, you know, these chariots are going to make themselves, you know, appear. You know, right now, you know, uh, you know, uh, you, you've been having brothers, you know, uh, uh, record videos. You do, and, and, and then on top of that, listen, man, it's multiple videos. You know, YouTube, you know, uh, of the Akim, you know, recording videos of, of the chariots, you know, even 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 people that's not in the truth, you know, getting videos of actual chariots, man. So call you a foes. OK, so how much more when that day actually comes and manifests itself, man, that's going to be a, 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 you know, a very dreadful day, a very dark day. OK, it's going to it says that it says that the day of the house is, is going to be gloominess and and darkness. OK. But guess what? That that's good news for us because we know what that's going to bring us, which is deliverance. But but on the other hand, that's going to be bad news for the rest of the masses, the people out here. You know that's not prepared for that. Okay, that just think that you know uh, so-called UFOs aren't real, or you know what they call you know uh, uh you know extraterrestrials aren't real. You know, and really a uh, 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 um an uh, extraterrestrial is something that's outside of the of the earth's atmosphere you know something something that's not part of earth you know a stranger all right aka an alien or aka an angel all right so yeah man you know time time is running out all right the end is manifest all right and you can clearly see that we're living the last days of the last days all right esau is falling man okay and speaking of esau falling you just had recently you had evelyn rothschild die man right and right right there is an omen and then, and then I believe yesterday you had the blood moon on the election day, man. All right. So we are witnessing the downfall of Esau Edom. Okay. You know, uh, you had uh, uh, Evelyn Rothschild died. You know, so that proves right there that Esau is fallen, man. Okay. Esau, Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is, is the beginning of it that follow with, man. Okay. So that being said, I just want to say, call Lame La. Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shia by Hashem. And Kakwadash. Double honor being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And Lord, as well, you edify. With that being said, shalom. All right. To the house of David, the hopeful elect. Shalom.